Hello there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create a microservice application in Batman Core with ABP. This is a new series I'm doing. This is a part one of the series. This is just going to be an initial setup of how we are going to set up the folders, files, and the projects. Let's get started. So as always, I have created the blog post and then uh, the blog post has uh, the uh, startup script. The uh, microservice application is actually based on the issue upon ABP application. Issue upon ABP is the um, sample application which was built by the ABP team. They have uh, created a really good architecture and also um, documented it uh, in a way uh, it's really helpful to get started with your own uh, microservice application uh, but there is no documentation on how to set up from the scratch uh, yet uh, they have a bunch of how do i say build scripts um, for running it locally um, yeah uh, but uh, i have modified it a little bit and then uh, came up with the whole architecture in a way that uh, instead of using ocelot for the gateway we are going to use um, yeah, and uh, the DB migrator is also a little bit different. So apart from that, it's not so much different from what uh, eShop and ABP is doing. So to get started, um, I have created this uh, init script. It's actually available in this GitHub repo. Uh, you can go and uh, copy it over. So I also provided it in the startup uh, section of this blog post. So um, I will first uh, run it and then uh, show you um, like what is, what the script is actually doing. So um, first, make sure you have an empty folder. Uh, my uh, microservice is going to be named after named my microservice is going to be called tasky so that's what um uh, the folder name i have created you can create whatever the folder name you want just um open that in uh, vs code okay now you have a empty folder and in the empty folder just create a file called init.vs1 so this is the uh, powershell file which uh, which we are going to run so right now it's empty we can uh, copy this and then paste it here we have the scripts available and you can see that it's actually looking for a parameter and um, you can come back and then see that you will have uh, one PowerShell script. Now let's run the PowerShell script. So um, you just do init and then give your project name. Uh, what we have is uh, init and then task key. So here you can see the argument zero is the name and yeah, and this is what we are doing here. So we are passing the argument as task key and click enter what this will do is it will create all the necessary projects for your microservice application uh that includes your gateway your identity service your db migrator project your shared project and if you want to know like what the sample application is going to be uh, i have actually created the sample application and then you can check it out in my repository so, so this is the sample application and this is the architecture we are going for so we will have an app which is going to be identity server and angular and then we have a gateway which which is actually a YARP gateway. So if you come here and then see, I only have a YARP as a reverse proxy. And we have uh, three, four services. I'm not gonna create projects. I will create identity, administration, and SaaS, and uh, the shared projects. So at the end of the um, series, what we will have is a um, base project of ABP uh, running as a microservice. And you can see that um, the command is still running uh, it will create all the projects add the necessary folder structure and also um, i'm adding a bunch of modules to the administration and then a bunch of modules to the identity and then uh, another module a tenant management module to the sas and if you come here inside the folder you can see that the files are getting created you have the same um structure here yeah so you, you will see that it launches uh, the browser a couple of times because when you create a temporary app application it just launches the uh, message saying your application is started and it also happens when you add a uh, settings management um all the other things should just work without any problems okay now it's installing permission management let's let it run and then 
wait for the end of the okay our script has ran successfully it took two minutes okay uh and uh, i want to see what's inside the folder so if you see what's inside the folder you have a uh, um you have bunch of folders so you have the tasky solution and the init script which we created and four folders so if you go into, into the shared folder you have two projects one is the db migrator project and the shared hosting project and inside the service you have three services one is a sas service this is uh using module template and you have identity service again create using module template and uh administration service using module template these have no ui and uh, app is having angular project and the identity server okay now you open your uh, visual studio you can see the similar structure here so you have apps you have gateway and yeah so you have apps a gateway and then uh shared uh sorry services and then shared um i will open all these things and then you can see so the application kind of created these um projects and then we removed a bunch of unnecessary things so if you go back to the partial script uh you can see that um here i'm actually adding a template um module template and then uh, once that is done i'm creating the solution once the solution is done i'm adding all the projects in the solution and also creating a new tired app so that i can copy over the angular and also the db migrator and then the identity server once that is done i'm removing a bunch of projects so the installer project is not uh, used yet because the uh, abp studio is still a work in progress you can easily delete this the hosts.shared is not required. I'm not using Mongo. I'm only using Postgres. Uh, um, and it's the same for the test. And also, we have a separate identity server. So we are going to remove identity server from all the services we created. And yeah, it's it's just uh, removing the um, things from the solution and also deleting the files in the, uh, um, in the file system. So if you come here and then go to services and then identity services, and then you go to host, you will only see one host just for this identity service. Usually it will have three projects here when you create with uh, no UI. I just deleted uh, other, other two because it's not necessary. And uh, in line number 31, 32, and 34, what, ha what happens is that I'm actually adding the module audit log to the administration service. And then I'm adding the module volo.identity and then volo.identity server to the identity service and then tenant management to the SaaS service. So that is how our microservice is going to uh, work. So the administration service will have feature management, permission management, settings management, and audit log. And then um identity service will have identity and identity server and tenant management will have uh, sorry SaaS service will have tenant management i think this is a good architecture um eShop on abp kind of started with this uh, architecture but then they removed tenant management because the eShop doesn't need the tenant management and i think they also removed feature management at some point um yeah but uh, i wanted these features uh and uh, that is one of the reasons um, I you know, architected in this way. And the reason for using um, YARP is because um, the Ocelot is not being managed or maintained anymore. So well, I just wanted to try YARP and then it works for my needs. So if you, um, yeah, if you don't want YARP, you can actually easily replace this uh, YARP with Ocelot. Not going to be a problem. Yes. So you have all the um, folder structure ready and um, the solution is ready to be modified so if you come here the db migrator is actually a db migrator copied from a tired project so it's not going to work because all, we deleted all the other projects and it's the same for the shared hosting because it's just an empty project and for the identity server again i copied it from the shared uh, the temporary project i created and then um, this is also not going to work the only thing that might work uh, is the gateway because it's very isolated again it's also an empty application um the administrations will not work either because we removed a bunch of projects yeah so this is the 
first initial setup uh, in the following videos i will slowly uh, handle uh, each service by service and then set up um, these things in a way that um, at the end the entire thing is running with tie and uh, we have a base solution working uh, yeah that's it for this video i will um, see you in another video soon bye bye